Hi, my name is Daryl Donahue. I live here in the village of Randolph, but I grew up on a farm on South Randolph on Route 14. Four generations, uh, my great-grandparents were Guy Young, and um, he bought the farm. It's 150 acres. Now, give you a sense of economics, 150 acres, he bought it for $6,000. And uh, <clears throat> from then on, he was very, uh, in family industry was dairy, Jersey cows, grew from that. And my mother was born on the farm. And uh, there was a period during the, you know, depression period that my father, grandfather, he diversified the farm and they raised mink. So there was dairy cows and mink. And he would go to a furrier in Boston with the pelts. Well, I just remember as a child, you know, on, on, this, on the farm there in South Randolph, I mean, we had a huge family garden. I mean, about a quarter of an acre. And my mother was very industrious. And she instilled in me in that sense of being self-sufficient and being industrious. And my mother had a wide variety of, of uh, businesses, plus being a, a dairy farmer. She would raise gladiolas, and we would always bring out the bulbs, you know, get the soil tilled, you know, store and then plant the bulbs. And she would sell from the road. She had a sign, you know, anybody wanted to come in, buy flowers. Or she would come here to, used to be the Randolph Florist Company here in the village, and supply them with the gladiolas. And her other side business was that she was a professional cake decorator. So she made cakes, wedding cakes, birthdays. And she would bring um, joke cakes, like she would take a cardboard box and decorate it up, you know, for us kids, you know, <laughs> funny things like that. She made, and one day she made a, a birthday cake for my brother out of a water balloon. So it was like a nice decorated chocolate, look like a, I mean, one of those chocolate logs you see at Christmas time. You would never suspect, and my brother cut through it and it just went all over the table. <laughs> so. Now those are things that, you know, as in the community, we would be in the middle branch grange down East Bethel and attend there. And my aunt, Aunt Liz, she was a, uh, the choir director and organist at the East Bethel Community Church. And so she would take us there and we were in the church choir. And, you know, farm life is farm life. I mean, I, I just grew up with it, you know, and I took care of the cows, the calves. We had chickens galore and we had rabbits and now this is one thing that we try to discourage my brother he he uh he saw the ad agway was offering this ad you know buy a hundred pounds of feed you get a hundred chicks well my grandfather and my dad said no son you're not going to get hens you're going to get roosters but he was persistent he so he, he, he with his own money he bought it and as the chicks grew, sure enough, there were 99 roosters and one hen. <laughs> so we had a lot of chicken pies, <laughs> as you can tell. We shared it with the neighbors as well. And right in the village of South Randolph, now there was a school, the South Randolph School, and that is now a private home. But at, when I was growing up, that was the school system, that was the grade school, and my brother went there to the, I think it was the sixth grade, before they built the new community school that was over in East Randolph. And my father was a janitor there, so he would take care of the school, wood stove. Every winter he'd go in and start the stove for the school. And <clears throat> we'd also have Christmas functions there. Now, there was a community family way back, I don't know when they were, the Hackett's. They never had children, and they, they started a fund. They wanted to share Christmas with the, the children in the South Randolph community. So that they had a trustee, which were members in the South Randolph community, and it just expanded from that. And they had a fund where they would use that money to buy Christmas gifts for the children. So they would go and let each family know, and the parents would then tell them what the children wanted, and, and they would 
buy those gifts, and they would have this huge Christmas party at the South Randolph School. And we had Santa Claus come in, we had snowball fights when we were waiting, and, and all the treats. My mother would make tons of the uh, caramel um, popcorn balls, and we would help make those as well. You know, they're all gooey and mashed, and we provide milk from the farm to make hot cocoa and to share. And that was a big thing on the farm. You share what you had. And I know that many times we would grow extra potatoes. We would have tons of potatoes. And you can't do this today. I don't know if they're still doing it, but I can remember, you know, they would say, okay, the East Randolph School needs food. And whatever it was, and we would always donate 100, 200 pound bags of potatoes so the school could have them. And, and that's what I miss about, you know, I don't know how our communities are functioning today, if more people are out there sharing, but you know what, farmers put on a lot of time, and we all should support our farm families and farm community. And I'm glad to see that right now we're seeing this upspring in organic farming and sustainable farming and more of our industries, restaurants and cafeterias are now drawing in on that and benefiting. Um, that's about all I can say.